This is a video to review strength and direction when describing a scatter plot. So strength and direction are two important ways that we can describe a scatter plot, and there are five in total. Our strength describes how closely the variables are related to each other, and the direction describes if that relationship is increasing or decreasing. You probably have seen this graphic before. We have a lot of different um, scatter plots here, and there are a couple different ways that we can describe it with the word perfect, strong, weak, or no correlation. And you can see it repeats again, weak, strong, and perfect. So what we are talking about in this relationship is how closely they are related. And I can estimate that by drawing this line through the points. Now the line does not have to touch the points, but the line generally will have about half of the points above and about half of the points below. So it's going through the middle. And the relationship here describes really like how many points are on that line or how spread out the points are from the line. So this is a perfect positive correlation because when I drew that line, it touched every single one of those points. This is a strong positive correlation. I draw the line and it touches many of the points and there are some points above and below, but they're still pretty close to that line. This is a weak positive correlation. It's still um, a very clear line, but then some of these points are now getting further and further away from the line. It's more spread out. And this one is no correlation. I can't really draw a line here to see where my points would be. If I did and did something like this, there are so many points above, so many points below, that this line doesn't really help us determine um, where a point might be. So you can see the difference between strong and weak, they're just getting more spread out. And of course, we have the same thing for negative. Weak, strong, and perfect. So in this one, A is going to be stronger. When I draw that line, more of these points are closer to the line. Whereas in B, there's a lot more spread here. So direction, we kind of talked about it with strength, about it being positive or negative. And direction just tells us, is the graph increasing? So X increases and Y increases. Or is it decreasing as X increases Y decreases. So we have positive and we have negative. Is the line going up? Is the line going down? And we put that all together. We can describe it like you see here, but we can also describe it with something called the correlation coefficient or r, lowercase r here. And this is a number between negative one and one that describes the strength of the the strength and the direction of your correlation. So for example, no correlation is going to be zero. There's no real relationship here. There's no association here. And the further I go away from that, the stronger I get. All right. One represents the strongest relationship here. It is a perfectly straight uh, uh, correlated relationship. So one and negative one are the strongest relationships you get. 
And obviously this is positive 1 because this goes up. This is negative 1 because this goes down. And now a strong positive is going to be closer to 1. So about this one's about 0.91. Um, 0.7 is also pretty strong. Um, but 0.6 is kind of in the middle. Then we get to a weak positive correlation. This is weak because it is closer to zero than it is to one. And the same for our negatives. This is a negative 0.48. It is weak because it's closer to zero than it is to one. And negative 0.91 is gonna be closer to one. It's gonna be very strong. So you want to look at the sign that tells you if it's positive or negative. And you want to look at the value. The closer it is to 1, the stronger it is. The closer it is to 0, the weaker it is. So here... Um, this is going to be a positive graph. It is, um, we can draw a line here. It's not a very strong line, but there is a general positive ten trend here, and the correlation is about a 0.21. I have a negative line here. It is a in the middle. I'm a little bit more strong, um, stronger than it is weak. So it's about a negative 0.61. For C, this is similar. I have a line here, but it is spread out. It is negative. I can see a, a, a slight negative trend here. And um, it is very, very weak, negative 0.18. And my last one, I have D. These points are getting uh, tighter. They're getting closer to that line, and it is positive, so we have 0 0.74.